Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time on the channel. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Every day I'm making nobody stop me and fuck my enemies. You know we complete. We get in the breeze, no, you cannot be a friend of me. So you guys been actually enjoying the, the editing ideas and, you know, that, you know, thank you for the support. And I can already tell people tell me I talk too much. Oh my God. Shut up. Shut up. Literally, shut up. All right, so now that we now... Finally on DaVinci right now, we already did two parts of what I can do on After Effects. Now I'm about to be showing you guys what I could do on DaVinci Resolve. Because I mean, look, <laughs> I'm a master at DaVinci. Even though I'm still learning, you know, a couple of stuff from, you know, now from when I used to be new using it into now. I'm, you know, yeah. <laughs> but look, uh, look, we about to go show you guys the basic stuff of how to use DaVinci basically. So we about to show you all right now. So look, all right, right now we about to go to our files. We about to go up. All right, any video clip that we have, any video clip that we have, we're just gonna drag it down. So basically, this video right here, this video that I did, um, I think a couple weeks ago, I think it was a day in the life video. I posted it on my YouTube, so go check that out. <laughs> but look, um, we're gonna go and drag this down. We're gonna like do anything, right? Basically, add your video to your file, drag it down onto the timeline. Simple as that, right? Simple as that. That is that easy. But look, other stuff that you guys don't understand about DaVinci is that you could do so much of stuff on DaVinci. You just don't even realize it. Like, you don't expect it until you really do it. You know what I mean? So basically, over here at the bottom left, you got tons of stuff that you can put in your video. Tons of stuff. You got your video transitions. You got your audio transitions, titles, generators. Um, I really don't use that too well. I mean... I'm kind of still trying to get used to using that effect or whatever. You got effects tab. You got your filters, audio effect. Then you got fair light effects or whatever that goes with the audio. But look, so much of stuff that you can literally put into one video. So this video right here has been already edited so much to a point where I actually kind of like didn't really do that bad. I feel like maybe some parts of the video I could have done a little bit of more editing. But look, all I really much did was... I kind of just, you know, break it down and stuff like that. Um, shit, it may be a, hold on. It may be a little laggy. Hold on. Because sometimes DaVinci does this. You just got to let that junk load for a little bit. All right. So here you go. I mean, uh, could it play? Okay. Hold on. Nope. No, no, indeed. No, no, indeed. No, we got to get a different video. Let's, let's just get like a regular playing video. If we can find a regular playing video. So, uh, for, all right. So this clip right here, I mean, it's a four and a half. I have literally no other clips but a Fortnite clip I could use separately because any other video I try to transfer onto the timeline, it's just gonna lag and I really don't got time for it too. But look, back to all I was saying, so you're gonna drag any clip that you wanna use. Specifically, I would not wanna use a Fortnite clip even if I wanted to edit a video, it would not be a Fortnite clip, literally. It would not be a Fortnite clip. But look, for example, if I wanted to like, you know, trim it or whatever or cut it, I'm gonna use B as my cut basically so we're gonna kind of go to this blade tool right here you use that drag it whatever you want to whatever you want to use on a timeline you cut it and hopefully like the the correct timing that you want to cut it then cut it so if i want to like cut it right here i'll cut it and then end it right there and then drag i drag this clip down to the other clip so it kind of gets that i don't know this i don't know it kind of like for some videos you know how when you're talking you have a huge gap as you're talking so when you have that huge gap as you're talking in the video you kind of want to cut that that kind of makes the video more more i don't know i, I can't describe it but it kind of if you know what i mean you know you, you you know you know what i mean but look if you got a big gap as you're talking you want to cut that out the video because you don't wanna have a big old gap because then it's just gonna be like silent or awkward or anything but look some of that i use in davinci is I kind of, you know, do a little bit of audio, kind of like echo, kind of, but I really not talking in this video. But um, usually we kind of do titles, anything title. I really don't use much of the titles on here because I really, mm, not really a big fan of the titles. But I probably use it sometimes, the, the times when I need to use it, because um, you know, obviously when I need to use it, I mean that's the right time to use it. But I mean only text i probably use is this one i probably use this one and digital glitch that's not like the only ones i use maybe jitter depending on uh the vibe of the the you the the, the, vid the vibe of the video sometimes i use this one um i don't really use too much of the other text just because like i said i'm not really like but um effects i kind of use this video camera as like a effect that i will 
highly recommend using because I kind of you know like it a little bit. It's not it's not that bad. Um, another thing I probably use is don't use any audio transitions. I do specifically use video trans transitions. All right, hey, but look, um, video transitions I do highly recommend using if you guys are into transitions, like really really good. So there's so much of transitions on here. I mean, I really don't you know use them as much now i feel like the only ones i probably use um camera shake no i don't use that i probably do like a um uh what is it film strip i kind of sometimes use that um some i think it was another one i think it was this one uh i think it was this one i don't, I don't know i can't remember but it was one of these transitions i use that i kind of you know use in a video or whatever but that's pretty much it um another thing another thing i like using in the video is this right here on the top right this right here with all the transform transform and cropping and all that this right here is probably one of something you gonna this is really important because you i feel like in like i feel like when you're editing a video you're going to use this more often i feel like because you're going to you're going to be zooming in a lot like to make the video more pop obviously videos that's making it more entertaining is obviously the edits okay so the edits is making people want to stay people want to you know watch your videos or whatever so i feel like transform or whatever anything you want to make like you know funny or a meme anything zoom will be like your option to use or anything else on the transform section and then they got the cropping i sometimes use dynamic zoom as you're talking it kind of just you know it kind of slowly comes out you know what i mean like it start to slowly come out the screen or whatever that's something i use like all the time in my video but but um that makes dynamic zoom it's another good effect comp uh, uh i forgot how to pronounce this uh composite uh compose it oh compose it all right so compose it is something if you have an overlay right if you want to go like if you ever go on youtube and you find like a, a, a overlay effect that you want to put in your video i don't know this word um you you want to you you want to go to uh compose it and compose it mode i i rather use screen because screen actually blends in the overlay effect that you want to put in your video so compose it will be something that you're going to highly recommend use if you're going to be using effects in your video so and then after uh compose it we got speed change if you i feel like speed change is like you kind of like like i feel like the um how do, how do you put it like the frames per second so if you ever want to change the frames for the video clip like as what i got selected it kind of like goes just a little bit of fast kind of goes fast a little bit um if you want to pick up the speed in that specific video then you got stabilization um stabilization is just the how smooth you want the camera to be or whatever um i really don't use too much of this but you know it kind of just smooths out the camera look or whatever like if you're i guess i don't know holding the camera i don't i don't know stabilization i really don't know too much about stabil stabilization because i really don't use that um three time scaling lens con correction i really don't know too much about that still you know i'm still like i said i'm still learning about what the venti is and that's all right then you're over here you got your color correction obviously you know kind of change the saturation to up or down it don't matter but you know when you just like it got that awkward moment in the video i use this kind of saturation in my video so that's what kind of like you know make the video more hey look but um if you guys want more bangers like this you guys are gonna drop a quick sub leave a like if on the video because i mean pretty much that was it um i mean we're gonna, i'm gonna be showing you guys more stuff in the next clip i just wanted to show you guys the basic stuff on how to add your clip in or drag your clip on to the timeline or do you know the the stuff the uh all the zoom in and zoom out transitions all that i wanted that to be the first part next part i think this part right here is part three so in part four i'm going to be breaking down how to do this how to do that and i think i'm going to be doing that in the last couple more parts so because actually we got part we got actually part seven so every day every day i'm making videos to a point where i, I want to make seven parts we already made two parts this is the third part and then on um the next part i'm going to be breaking down how to use this how to use that and that's going to be throughout the whole entire week so i'm gonna catch you guys i'm gonna catch you guys in the next part i love you guys peace out